Good morning, this is Miss Park again. I have another trickster tale from Korea. This one is called The Rabbit's Escape by Suzanne Crowder Han and illustrated by Yumi Hio. As we're reading, see if you can figure out who the trickster is, who got tricked, what were the tricks, and why did the character trick. Long ago, the dragon king of the east became ill. The court physician read his pulse. Your majesty, you are very sick, he said. The only thing that will cure you is the fresh raw liver of a rabbit. The king did not much like the idea of eating fresh raw liver, but he had no choice. Send for a rabbit at once, he ordered his ministers. But your majesty, replied a minister, the rabbit does not live in your kingdom beneath the sea. It lives on land. The king fell silent. The land was a strange and treacherous place for a sea creature. Slowly, a turtle made his way to the front of the crowd. I can live on land, he said loyally. I will gladly fetch a rabbit to cure your majesty's disease. However, there is one small problem. I don't know what a rabbit looks like. The Dragon King sent for the court artists who were learned, learned and wise. They carefully painted a picture of a rabbit. When the painting was finished, the turtle tucked it safely inside his shell and departed. The turtle swam and swam. Finally, he reached the land. Although many wondrous animals crossed his path, not one looked like the animal in his picture. After many hours of searching, the turtle stopped for a rest. Even as he sat, he stretched his long neck and looked about. His eyes came to rest on a patch of clover, and there, to his delight, he saw that his search was over. The turtle knew that the rabbit was a curious fellow, so he hid in his, hid in his shell, hoping the rabbit would come to him. Soon he heard a loud voice calling, Mr. Turtle, Mr. Turtle, what are you doing so far from home? I'm sightseeing, said the turtle, but I'm afraid this kingdom doesn't compare with my home at the bottom of the sea. Don't you agree, Mr. Rabbit? I've been to a lot of places, boasted the rabbit, but I haven't been to the sea kingdom yet, although I plan to go soon. I'm going back this afternoon, said the turtle. We could go together. You could ride on my back. What a splendid idea, said the rabbit. Let's go. And off they went. On their long journey back to the king's palace, the loyal turtle told the rabbit about the many splendors of the sea. He even hinted that the rabbit might lay eyes on the king himself. Finally, Finally, they arrived at the Dragon King's court. How dazzling, thought the rabbit as he looked around the glittering palace. And to think that I'm to have an audience with the Dragon King himself? The rabbit was known for stretching the truth at times. My friends will be so impressed. He waited happily in a glorious antechamber while the turtle went off to make arrangements. Presently, a battalion of swordfish and a school of cuttlefish arrived at the door. Come with us, they said. The dragon king is waiting for you. Really, said the rabbit, waiting for me? Really, replied the cuttlefish, waiting for you. He's so eager to meet you, added the swordfish. Really, said the rabbit again. He was beginning to feel just a little bit uncomfortable. Why would the dragon king be waiting for me? He wants your liver, said another fish. So let's go give it to him. Your majesty, king of the sea and all that reside therein, a voice boomed out when they reached the throne room. Here is the rabbit. The rabbit bowed deeply to the dragon king 
and then stalling for time, he bowed to all the nobles around him and to the swordfish guards waiting to slay him. Your majesty, he finally said, I would gladly sacrifice myself to save your life. Unfortunately, my liver is not with me at the moment. What, roared the Dragon King, do you expect me to believe that? You must believe it, the clever rabbit replied, for it is true. Because my liver has such special powers, it is always in demand. So I use it mostly at night and keep it hidden in the daytime. If only the turtle had told me of your majesty's need, I would gladly have brought it with me. Do you think I am a fool, roared the king? It is impossible to take one's liver in and out at will. The rabbit bowed again. But your majesty, he continued, look carefully at my mouth. No other creature can take its liver in and out because no other creature has an upper lip like mine that split. The great hall was silent. Now, if it would please your majesty, I would, get, I would gladly go and get my liver. But I must go quickly or your majesty might... I don't dare say the word, say, said the rabbit, lowering his head in a show of sorrow. Turtle, the dragon king, finally spoke. Take the rabbit to get his 